What's up? I'm Drew and I'm a digital artist here in Dubuque, Iowa and I've been watching these murals go up over the last couple years and they are just always inspiring me every time I see them and walk by a new one to attempt and break out of my comfort zone and do my own mural. So like I said, I'm pretty much a digital artist and I've never attempted anything like these murals that I see putting up but you gotta start somewhere and we can do hard things so I think today's the day that we attempt to paint our first mural and we see what we can do. All right, welcome. Oh, I should go turn that light on. Let's go turn that on. Oh yeah, way better, way better. All right, welcome to the office. So to begin this process, I wanted to start with what's comfortable, which is digital drawing. So I snapped a few pictures of the wall and I imported them into Procreate on my iPad. And my plan is to just start sketching some ideas that I have floating around in my head and eventually get a final mock-up of what I want the mural to look like. I'm a total dreamer, so I want to do something that inspires me to keep dreaming. So those are kind of my simple ideas and I'm going to see what happens. So let's get after it. All right, welcome to the garage. I'm pretty pumped. Uh, my wall behind me is, is prepped. I have my paint and supplies. So my plan here is to use my iPad as a reference and use these paint markers that I bought to start stenciling in the letters and shapes and then the paint will come. Shout out to Woodness Goodness for the swag. Let's do it. so much fun already. I can't believe I've never attempted something like this before. Uh, and I've only been doing the stenciling, so I'm pretty pumped to put some paint on. So my plan is to put the black background in first and then add in the colors around the letters and the shapes. So yeah, all right, I'm having fun and let's keep working.
welcome to day two of my first ever mural painting and I'm so pumped. It looks so cool. I'm pretty uh, pretty excited with how this is turning out. So plan is to add yellow and touch up any spots. So if I'm any bit of a predictor, I'm thinking I can get this yellow on today and hopefully have this wrapped up maybe tomorrow. All right, we're gonna get after it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Some things in the air I can't feel it everywhere Every color seems to bloom And there's light in every room Now that you're looking up I can see it in your eyes That lately it's been tough But now the sun is rising That's a job well done. We're calling it a day. I just had a blast. This was so much fun to do. It was amazing to have help from my family and just make this a, a bit of a family project. Yeah, I'm so glad it was daring and attempted this and I'm super pumped with how it turned out. It just, it makes me smile, it transforms this room. I know I was a bit nervous. I did make some mistakes. I probably shouldn't have used such a permanent black marker. The white paint was gonna be. That was probably a, a, a bad call. Maybe a pencil next time. I, I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm happy I attempted this. I think there'll be more murals coming down the line if I can uh, get some energy. This does take a lot. I'm, I'm pretty tired, but uh, it's, it's super rewarding. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and you know, participating in this process. If you're a mural artist and you have some tips for me, I would love to learn some more. I appreciate any comments and guidance below. And I just wanna say thank you to all those 3,500 subscribers that have clicked that button on my channel. It means a ton that you guys have done that and supporting me making these fun videos, um, just being creative, getting out of my comfort zone, and yeah, doing doing new things. So thanks for encouraging that and all your support. It means it means so much. Just wanted to say thank you. So yeah, I think that's all for me. Thanks for watching again, and dream big, kid.